What's up guys, we're back with another video. Today we got the Poco X6 Pro. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Like I said, I usually like old flagships, but Poco actually makes some really good mid-range phones. So I wanted to see what it's all about. I still use my Poco X3 Pro. Um, you guys know when that came, phone came out, it was a beast. It was really, really good for a mid-range phone. And I could easily recommend it because the chip was so powerful, had a headphone jack infrared port there was a lot going for that phone so let's see what Xiaomi is doing these days with the X6 Pro here always love the box here bright yellow colors alright let's get this off now this phone you can find for around 400 bucks so it's like an upper mid-range phone alright we got some paperwork of course one thing about Xiaomi phones is that you're always going to get a really good unboxing experience. I think they're like one of the last companies. There's probably some others, but Xiaomi does a really good job. Get a nice case. And I got the yellow one as well. Wow, it's a really nice... Um, finish on here wow look at that got a little bit of texture right there too or a little design very very nice really like this this back kind of reminds me of like leather but this is probably just plastic it's matte too and one of the best things about shopping is that they put a fast charging brick in the box 67 watts you get fast charging right out of the box you don't need to buy one Apple Samsung Google alright so let's go ahead and just take a look around this device I thought this is gonna feel kinda cheap but it doesn't even though it's not a you know it's not a I you know it's not IP68 doesn't water resistant it's not glass and metal it's just a plastic it's got a silicone back on here um yeah but it feels solid though um yeah, even the rails, like, you would kind of mistake it for metal, but it's not. Uh, I can tell because it doesn't have any type of cold touch. Um, but, yeah, so, really nice looking phone. They took away the headphone jack, though. No headphone jack. That sucks. That would have made this phone killer, though. No headphone jack. Really nice yellow button on here. That's awesome. Let's boot this guy up. All right, let's check out the display on here. So this is a pretty nice display. It's an AMOLED display. It's 120 hertz HDR10+. Plus. It also has 1200 nits peak brightness, so it's pretty bright outdoors. It's a 6.67 inch display, so pretty big phone. And it's got 1220 by 2712 uh, resolution. So it's a pretty nice display, high resolution display. And then you also have 446 for the PPI, so it's very sharp. You got pretty thin bezels on here. Um, as well too and it's a completely flat panel um, I'm really liking the display so far and um, I took it outdoors to take a couple photos and it did a pretty good job uh, for the most part with you know direct sunlight and stuff like that so I'm really not mad at the display at all it's really a you know pretty much a flagship quality uh, panel here uh, for the most part so really really nice uh, looking panel here. All right, so let's talk about these specs a little bit more here. So you can see I got the Geekbench scores pulled up here. This phone does have the Dimensity 8300 Ultra chipset on here. You also have Android 14 with the Hyper OS. No SD card support, unfortunately. I think that would have really put this device over over the top. Uh, I also have 256 gigs of internal storage, which is really nice because you're starting off with base storage uh, pretty high for the most part. And then you also have 8 gigs of RAM. And you can see the Geekbench scores and what they compare it to. So for a single core, you can see it's pretty much on par with something like a Snapdragon 888 processor. Or like the S21 FE. You can see uh, the Xenos model. Um, but it's pretty much on par uh, with those phones for the most part. And then for the multi-core score, it actually scored 4,000, which is really good. You can see it's kind of up there with the Snapdragon 8 Gen uh, one processor um, as well too did better than the Pixel 7 Pro um, so this is not a slow phone by any means it's been really snappy uh, bouncing in and out of applications um, it's gonna run pretty much like a flagship phone uh, for the most part this is why I really like uh, this phone here 
and um, yeah they've changed a little bit of um, you know MIUI a little bit I think it still looks a lot like an iPhone unfortunately um, but yeah I think this phone is like crazy buttery fast and let's go ahead and get into PUBG um, and I'll show you guys what kind of settings we're getting here alright so we're in PUBG and of course we're gonna get some great settings here we get 90 frames HDR extreme uh, we do have one here as well too and yeah this thing is gonna be a gaming beast when it comes to you know playing PUBG, Call of Duty Mobile, Fortnite, whatever you throw at it, emulators uh, this is gonna be a really good phone so like I said this is a pretty good old flagship alternative for people who game even though like I said it can be a little bit more on the expensive side because like I said if you bought a used S21 FE or a refurbished one you're gonna get you know pretty good settings um, as well I don't think it does um, the 90 frames yet but uh, you will get HDR extreme and it only costs you like 200 bucks um, but like I said this has its advantages because a lot of people they want something new they don't want our user refurbished phone and I definitely understand that respect that um, but yeah so this is a pretty good performer you don't have to drop a ton of cash to be able to play PUBG at a competitive level um, so that's really nice so far just using this phone I haven't noticed any type of overheating or anything like that so that's really sweet so that's something that I really like and um, yeah so so far our performance is going to be pretty good on here for the most part guys and so like I said this this is like a mid ranger that I will buy um, even though you know you're kind of lacking some stuff like IP68 and we're gonna move on to the camera so I can show you guys kind of where they cut corners with these type of mid-range phones that have these really powerful chipsets um, but yeah when it comes to gaming and performance if that's like what you care about and you want you know that and you want a brand new phone I would definitely buy this let's check out these stereo speakers Not bad at all. Pretty good, uh, actually. Pretty good bass quality and pretty loud. Yeah, so not bad. The top speaker actually does give a good amount of, you know, quality and bass to it. So, a pretty full sounding for the most part. Uh, you do have the under the display fingerprint sensor on here, which is very fast. Have no issues at all with this one. This one is a optical one but it, it feels like super super fast so that's something that I really like as well too and let's go ahead and just talk about the cameras on here alright so let's talk about the cameras on here so it's a 64 megapixel standard on here an 8 megapixel ultra wide a 2 megapixel macro it shoots in 4k 30 and then a 16 megapixel selfie cam that shoots in 1080 60 I like the image quality from the main sensor but the macro and the ultra wide are just not it's just not consistent with the main sensor for sure the ultra wide I thought was a little bit soft uh, with shots um, but it was still pretty decent just lack you know dynamic range and stuff like that I, you could just tell it wasn't on par with the main camera and then also the macro camera is just whatever it's, it's okay uh, but the main sensor is actually pretty good on here you actually get a good amount of detail you actually get pretty nice colors um, sometimes a little bit kind of saturated and kind of high contrasty um, but I really liked it I thought it did a really good job in this sort of low light shot of my cat too that I thought was awesome if you're in good lighting you have it's just, gonna, it's just gonna get you a really good shot so I actually think the cameras are good the selfie cam again was nothing crazy but it was pretty decent like you get a decent selfie out of here for sure in good lighting um, yeah, I really like the the image quality on here for this price. It was pretty pretty good for uh, the most part. But like I said, like compared to like an older flagship, you're kind of lacking any type of telephoto lens on here. Um, you know, stuff like that, not being able to shoot in 4K 60. Um, but yeah, I actually think think it's pretty decent. There's a nice pro mode on here as well too uh, to take pictures. And also video again was just somewhat decent. It wasn't anything too crazy. Um, I actually thought the video was was it was decent, but like I said, nothing too you know insane. But 
I, I was actually a little surprised by the video quality. Um, but for the most part, these cameras are pretty good. I give them like a B. Alright, so let's talk about the battery life. Obviously, I'm going to need more time with the battery life. But from what I've seen, you know, watching other people's videos and stuff like that, very good battery life, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, so big battery uh, in this guy, 67 watt charging. Remember, there's no wireless charging or anything like that. It is a mid-ranger. Um, but yeah, so them throwing that fast charging brick in the box, I think is an automatic, you know, plus for this phone. Uh, being able to charge to zero to 100, I believe in 45 minutes is absolutely nuts. Um, and um, yeah, so you should be able to get all day battery life pretty easily with this phone. I mean, honestly, just using it, it's drained very little uh, today. Um, but yeah, so what do you guys think of these Xiaomi phones? I think they're cleaning up MIUI. I think it's actually getting a little bit cleaner, even though my only thing with this is that um, the way they do like certain stuff is a little weird to me. Uh, but and I do think it looks a lot like an iPhone, just like straight up. There's no way you can look at this control panel and not think it's an iPhone. Um, but yeah, so what do you guys think about MIUI software? What do you guys think about the Poco? Be sure to let me know and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, and yeah, I do want to mention the infrared port. Um, it's something I forget about, but this is like a, a goaded feature. So remember, guys, you do have an infrared port on here if you use it. Uh, you can see you can control fan, DVD player, AV receivers. It's like this is like a really great uh, thing to have. TVs, projectors. Um, so definitely take advantage of that. Uh, but yeah, so let me know what you guys think.